Welcome to Varnberg Implement and today we've got a deal to show you. It's winter time here in West Central Missouri and with a warming trend you know what that means. The snow is leaving but the mud is coming and every cattleman needs a good dependable tractor to help them feed during the winter time feeding period and what we've got is a cattleman special package we put together. This Massey Ferguson 4610M paired with the 931X loader, a quickie bale spear, original implement bale spear, and a trial bale unroller. This will give you the cattleman that special package you need. If you're needing to upgrade to a new tractor but you don't want the price of a full feature tractor, the 4610M is Massey Ferguson's basic tractor with just the features you need and technology you want but at a price that's affordable to you. One of the unique features of this tractor is the bevel gear pinion design front axle. And if you look here, you've, the bevel gear pinion design allows for very tight turning radiuses. It's actually going to pivot off of this. It's a lot compact and a lot tighter turning than a double u-joint style system you're actually pivoting off of this point right here you have a shaft comes over with to a gear here comes down to another gear and this is your pinion out here that's going to do your front axle so you got a big beefy front axle across here with Titan tires 12.4 24s in the front and 18 430s in the back that's going to bite that ground. The front wheel drive will help you get through the mud easier and it actually helps you float on the mud when you put it in four wheel drive because the tractor will actually get up on top of the ground instead of like a two wheel drive tractor that pushes through the mud. This features the Agco Power three cylinder engine that is economical on fuel and even better on emissions. You look under the hood here it's easy to open you got your filter you got your battery you got your your coolers and condensers you got clean out screens on them it's simple and easy to maintain and it sips the fuel agco power engines are leading the industry in not only fuel economy but also emissions economy this has the agco scr technology system and yes it does use def diesel exhaust fluid but the thing about the Agco power system is the way that it converts once the exhaust leaves the turbocharger and goes through the diesel oxidation catalyst which is much like a catalytic converter it senses how much NOx gases NOx gases are created at high exhaust temperatures if you're not creating high exhaust temperatures like low, low RPM loader work that a cattle feeder does you're not going to create them so it doesn't inject def if it doesn't need to. It measures it on the downstream side. It senses the through the the uh, catalyst here that it converts the NOx gases into oxygen and water vapor that leaves the air. So pretty much the exhaust leaving this tractor is cleaner than the air going into it. The other competition uses diesel particulate filters. A lot of them do. What a diesel particulate filter does is a cool the engine combustion with an EGR valve which reduces the performance but it increases particulate matter and you have to filter that out and it requires a regeneration. This tractor does not have a diesel particulate filter and does not require any regeneration. There's no excessive heat. It only uses exhaust emissions if you're doing if you got high exhaust temperatures and you're creating NOx gases. If you're not it doesn't use it. And the, and the numbers show that. We've had lots of people, so come in and check it out. We've actually got reports from a customer that had a first generation 4610 that has bought a second generation 4610M. He says, why am I burning less fuel? It's because of the, de the DEF SCR emission system. Allows this engine to, to burn cleaner for more power and performance and treat the exhaust after combustion. Now let's get into some of the other features that this package has. The 931 series loader here is a big, is a beefy loader 
This one actually has Euro Quick Attach, and we're going to show you why Euro Quick Attach is the simplest and easiest and safest system out there to connect implements. We've got you get a free bale spear. This bale spear comes from Quickie. It's an original implement. One thing about this, you can set the inner spears on 80 millimeters, or you can set them out to 120 and carry a double bale. And it does have the fifth conus to put just a single spear, or you can add more spears. Like if you're square, spear and square bales, you can have three or five spears in this. It fits perfectly matched to this 4600 series 931X loader. We're going to look at the bail in roller. This will allow you to pick up the load. And as, as the operator manual states, and most tractor operators know, that when picking up a load, you need to properly balance the tractor. You can add wheel weights, or in this example is why a lot of cattle feeders opt to a three point bail carrier or a bail in roller is to grab a load back here to help counterbalance the load on the front of the tractor. What a bale unroller allows you to do is unroll that hay so the cattle are not fighting over, over the hay in a ring. It allows them to, to eat equally. The other thing is, is if you have low quality hay and when it gets cold and wet on this ground and, it, and it's going to get wet, you can lay down a layer of hay so that they've got dry bedding, just like you like to sleep on dry sheets. A couple of the cool things on the back end of the Massey Ferguson 50 4610, 540, 1000 PTO. You have both shafts that come with this. You actually put the other shaft where that yellow handle is there, it stores in there, and you can shift it and you got 540 and 1000 on a large utility tractor. Two sets of remote valves. We upgrade to the float valves on the ones we've ordered. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump in here and show you some of the operations. And we're going to hook up the bale spear and show you how simple and easy it is. Close the hood here, and we're going to go to work. One time is all we need to leave the tractor. You pull the handle and tilt it back where this catches in place. The pin is removed from the hooks. Now we're going to show you how simple and easy it is to hook. As you can see, when we hook the track it up, it automatically latched this in place. It ain't going anywhere. That's the ease of changing implements with the Euro style quick attach that's available on the 931X. With a bail unroller, this is a closed configuration. You have one hydraulic cylinder that you hook up. They are available in two different widths. You can pull this bolt out and you can change this bushing on either side if you need wide bales or narrow bales. There's a decal here that shows you that. When you pick up a bale, these are going to spike in. I'll show you how the hydraulics opens and closes. You open the barrel on roller to back up to a bale and grab it by the ends. You're going to have the round part here. It's going to be the flat areas that you squeeze the bale together. Once you squeeze the bale together, then you can raise your three point, take it to the field, pick up your front bale, and go feed your livestock. When you get there, you'll lower the three-point hitch to where the bale rolls on the ground 
and these spinners will actually spin as you unroll the bale makes it great bedding makes it great feeding opportunities so all cattle livestock can eat on a fair basis you don't have that dominant cow eat, eating the most hay and the, the the lower ones or the calves are starving for hay makes a great way to help keep your cattle in tip-top shape. Now we're going to jump into 4610. You have a two-door cab. you got cab doors on both sides. But one of the coolest features is the accordion seat. You can start it out low, come up one notch, come up another notch, or go back to there. You've got different starting heights. You still have the same spring suspension, but you got different starting heights with your suspension of your seat here. We'll get these doors shut. We'll show you some operation of the 4610. You have your two remote valves here. And as I mentioned, they do have float positions. This is your PTO engagement. This comes with soft start PTO. You can change the check fuse and start down there. That's your emergency brake, your brakes. It does have tilt steering. That's a premium feature. Your joystick is built in. You've got six gears that are all synchronized with two ranges. So you've got a high and low range and then six gears you can shift on the go. Your four-wheel drive engagement, your differential lock. You can store engine speeds so you can hit A engine speed. We've got it set at 1900 and automatically go to that. You can go to B engine speed or tap it again and go wherever you have your throttle set. You can increase the engine speed there your hazard lights, you have your heating and air conditioning controls, your front and rear work lights, and your front wiper. All the windows open. This is a nice comfortable cab. It gets you in out of the weather. Man, if you've been feeding in an open station tractor for years, it's time to step up to Massey Ferguson. We put it in gear if you want to change speeds. We'll go to fourth. You do have to clutch to change the speeds here. But once you're in, in range, you can use the forward reverse shuttle. You can go forward reverse. It's a nice smooth power shuttle. Man, we have traded for all different colors of tractors with these 4600s. Red ones, blue ones, green ones, orange ones. This is one of the nicest power shuttles out there. There's a lot of them that are very aggressive. This one, you can see it rolls and then comes back. Even uh, up to PTO speed. Or even down to idle speed. If you, if you don't want to do a full shuttle, you can pick it up, bring it back to neutral, take it forward, bring it back to neutral, come back to reverse. It's up to you how you want to control it. You can also use the clutch in conjunction with it. But man, isn't that sweet? Wouldn't that be awesome on loader work? Look at that. No, cl no clutch. Got it in neutral. Put it in forward. Change speeds. We'll go to 6th. There's even 6th gear. Nice smooth power shuttle. Got great turning radius. With that bevel gear pinion front axle design. Come check out the Massey Ferguson 4610, man. This thing has a lot of features and it won't break your bank if you want to upgrade to a new tractor. The mid range tractors have a lot more bells and whistles. But the power shuttle with just the right amount of technology, power and performance that you need to do your daily job of, of feeding, feeding your livestock out on the farm. Heating and air conditioning, a great running engine that ain't going to suck the fuel, and everything you need to do.
for a cattle operation. Plus it's going to work equally as well in the hay field. With approximately 40 of these in the field, they have been a solid performer for us, for our customers in West Central Missouri. So put one to work on your farm today and get out of the weather and make it easier to feed your performance and just the right touch of technology with the power shuttle a cab tractor four-wheel drive with a loader a bucket a bale spear and a bale unroller all packaged together for you come visit us at Varnberg Implement your Massey Ferguson dealer in Higginsville, Missouri. It's a great day to buy a Massey Ferguson and we've got a wide variety of tractors from the 4610 to the new Global Series from Massey Ferguson, the 4700 Series, the 57 and 6700 Global Series, the full featured premium 5700 SL, the 6600 Series premium tractor, and the money maker, the big daddy of them all, the 7724 high horsepower featuring the world's best transmission, the CVT from Massey Ferguson.